Okay, so if you have an issues with your PlayStation 4 where the disc has trouble going in and also trouble being ejected, just like this, see, it eventually goes in. Alright, and the same thing coming out. Well, I guess coming out is not a big of an issue, but usually what that means is um, there's this plastic piece inside that you're gonna have to go in there and snap back in there um, that piece sits right in the middle of two rollers what drives this actually what drives your disc in and out so this you're gonna need a Torx to remove disc screws um, you got one over here one down here, here, and there. I think that should be it. It's one, two, three, four of those. Um, they might have stickers like this that you're going to have to remove. I used a little flat screwdriver to remove those. Uh, just know that that voids your warranty, but at this point, I mean, if it's an older PS4, I'm sure your warranty is probably out by now, so... Now that you've removed the screws, flip the PS4 upside down, and so the cover's on there like this, go ahead and push up on one corner, other corner, and then just pry it open. Now that you've removed the cover, you're gonna have to move four of those Torx screws. Uh, you got one over here in, the, in each corner, another one over here, one right here the other one's going to be hidden behind this ribbon so you want to be careful you take this ribbon don't want to damage anything take it off and then this is usually off but um i already pulled it so you want to gently you want to gently pull on that one pull it back and then there's the other screw down there so number one two three Four. And then once you take this one off, go ahead and pull it off and take it off from here. So now that you've removed the ribbon, this connector, make sure you arrange everything so you know how to put it back. You're going to go ahead and just uh, carefully pull up and take this out. The rollers are right here. So now you're gonna need a Phillips screwdriver to take all four. Okay, so your next step, as I mentioned earlier, you're gonna have to take this screw off, this screw in this corner, and then this other one in this bottom corner. So there's three screws, okay? So you wanna gently take them off and just, just don't be rough, just be gentle. This is very delicate equipment, okay? If you take your time, you should be fine. So take all three out now there's a little trick to this uh, even though this one doesn't have a screw it kind of wedges in there so you want to go ahead and just pull up on the left side and pull this way like that and then you should take it out and this is the rollers I was talking about this little piece in the middle is the cold prey for so usually uh, the problem is the this little guy right here it's just it falls off snaps off of one of them it's not pulling evenly so the way this thing functions is you have this roller on this side and then this roller on this side and this thing holds them together so that when the gear spins this roller this transfers to the other one and they pull evenly on your disc so if this roller is the only one pulling I mean you know it's not really going to function properly. I can show you that. I put a mark on there. And I can use this over here without affecting anything. So I can turn it and you can you can see the mark moving. And this bends. So like I said, this only transfers over to the other roller so they pull evenly. Just make sure when you put in this roller back in there. I wouldn't recommend take this taking this one off because the your uh, gear over here comes off of it. 
I mean, it's not a big of a deal to put it back, but you know, if you lose the gear, you're gonna have to try to pull it out. But just make sure that this goes in there first and then connect the middle piece to both of them. This one, you're gonna have, kinda have to put it at an angle. If you already got this one in there, put it at an angle, put it in there, and then you push down to snap it. So you can hold it like this and snap. Same thing for this one if you decide to pull it out. But now I'm gonna be able to tell so I put a mark on this one and a mark on that one and I want to make sure that they're spinning evenly when I'm turning the gear over here. So that's what I'll be showing you next. As you can tell from the marks, they're both spinning evenly. The other mark that's coming around on this one is the mark that I made prior. So disregard that one. The other one should be coming up shortly. Both of them should be coming together. See, they're still following together right there. So, it's working properly. Um, remember that this corner, you're gonna have to put it at an angle, initially. Kinda like, here, here. like that, boom, boom. Make sure you line everything up. There's pins on there, so. Shouldn't be that bad to mess up. I did have to use a thinner um, Phillips screwdriver to get this to uh, spin. So make sure you have the right equipment, the right tools, whatever you want to call it. So just uh, going in reverse, as I mentioned. You got three screws. So now I'm going to put this back in there. Um, one thing to keep in mind, if you can tell here, this right here, there's going to be a gap here. So make sure this one actually goes further this way. You see that gap right there? Let's see if I can zoom in. Hmm. Well, you, you'll see it. You know what I'm talking about when you see it. There's a gap, so you want to make sure this goes in there. Otherwise, this um, corner here is not going to sit well with that, and you won't be able to get the screw in there. So. Make sure you put the back first, like that, and then you see the front, you're going to have to kind of push back a little bit to get it to sit down. Now you can check if you got the correct by uh, looking over here. When you put the screw in there, it should be able to go down, otherwise you did not put it in there correctly. Boom. See? Just make sure everything lines up, and you got this four Torx screws that you're going to put in each corner. You want to put this one first before connecting your uh, ribbon cable and connector. So I'll put that one. And so this corner over here actually, you're going to go ahead and uh, put it back in there. That guy. And line that up. And then put this on there. I like to start from the front and do the back. Mess anything, line up the holes, and then just put this back on there. Now that I see this, you actually didn't have to remove the bottom screw. It's just the top three. Well, technically the bottom three, but because you flipped the PlayStation, but I have the PlayStation flip upside down right now. So you really just need to remove all three of those, but oh well. And pretty much it. Go ahead and plug it in and test out your fix and be proud of it. Boom. Flawless. Coming up. So she wrote.